Hey everyone, Trace here. So today we're going to be making this mosaic sympathy card. And it's really, really pretty. And I love the technique for it. It's so, so fun, but a little time consuming. It's like a puzzle, but you can customize it a little bit in your favor. But I'll go ahead and show you how that's done. Isn't that cool? And this is what you're going to be needing. I'm using two of the May May Made It stamp sets. This one here is stained glass layered. Or actually, so this stamp set is called Layered Stained Glass. And the other one that I'll use is God's Blessings. And you're going to need some foam squares and some, I use Tombow dual brush pens because they react with water really well and I just love how they come out. I'll be using these colors for the second card that I'm making. You'll also need a water brush and some Canson XL water paper, watercolor paper and some VersaFine ink and some art glitter glue and scissors and that will do it so let's get started so the next step is to to color our paper so this version here has very vibrant bright colors I'm going to go ahead and do a little softer colors the second one but the combination of colors that you choose does not matter um, as far as you can use whatever you want. So this piece of uh, Canson watercolor paper is so large that it doesn't really fit into the shot very well. So I'm going to use, do, I am going to color the entire page because what we don't use this project, we can use it as second or third card. Just you'll have it already made and you can make a lot of them. So I also have a scrap piece of just paper underneath. And all you basically do is just scribble. And I know y'all can do that for sure. So I'm going to do a combination of colors. I'll start with purple. So really all I am doing is scribbling on the entire page of watercolor paper the entire thing from the top to the edges to the very bottom so in about an inch or so of the page I just color and if you have parts that aren't colored completely and that that's actually better because when you watercolor it the the water and the ink will fill in those spaces so next I'm going to change to a different color. I'll go ahead and do orange and just overlap them just a tad. You're just going to do about an inch or so. There's not really any rhyme or reason. Just color, scribble, super easy. Can't mess that up at all. Next color I'm gonna do a green. And so I'm going to go on and do the entire page with my pattern here and fill the entire page. So I've scribbled all over this page, the entire page, which is a very large size. So now I take my water brush and I'm just going to go over the entire thing just lightly with water and the joins of color if you don't want it to blend too too much just make sure you brush off the brush on a scrap piece of paper so basically just squirt up some water and just start start slapping some water all over this paper and like I said, for the joins of color, the, the, the parts where the colors join, 
if you don't want too too much to blend just wipe it off so just cover the entire page and so as you see where there was some spots that the coloring didn't quite cover it up the water and the ink will just fill in those really nicely so go ahead and cov cover the entire page with some water and let that dry and while that is drying go ahead and stamp out your sentiment I stamped it a couple of times because it's a really large sentiment and I wanted it to be really full and make sure I didn't miss any spots so the here I had missed a spot so I go ahead and so I went ahead and stamped it out a second time make sure it went nice and full so stamp that out and we're going to cut that out and I just went around it just basically hand cut fussy cut that out so the paper is all dry and it kind of looks like a hot mess right now but kind of cool on the other hand I love how watercolor just blends and flows and it just really looks neat I love it so we're gonna cut up this page but we're not gonna need the whole thing really so we're just cutting approximately half of it I'm just cutting it about this much here and then this here I'm gonna show you for the inside sentiment what we're gonna use for that so for this part here all we're gonna do is cut into little bits and it does not have to be perfect what you do need to watch for is at least one straight edge but you're gonna be using a trimmer so they are going to be pretty much straight edges anyway so I do put it in an angle because you want some most of them to be at an angle that just adds to the look of it so I kind of put it anywhere on the trimmer and angle it up and cut and so you're gonna have just a whole lot of just little bits and it doesn't matter sizes just cut any which way you want to cut 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 all different size pieces and what I try to do is add a couple of colors in the same little piece. And so this one has about three different colors in there. So that's going to be a really pretty piece. So just continue on and cut up this whole section of paper. So now with all of your pieces cut up, and I have some big ones, some small ones, you can kind of see how this is going to go. And they're really, really pretty. A lot of them have all the different colors to them. It's just, it's going to be great. So now you need a card front that is a black cardstock. And you're going to start to piece this all together. So this is where the fun starts. Um, so you're going to put like a puzzle, all different pieces on this paper. So it will take maybe a little while to get it to where you want it to be and fitting the trick is fitting them together so and if the good thing is that if it doesn't fit quite the way you want it to be you can customize it you can cut it to where you want it to fit for instance I'm going to I really like this piece here and it has all the colors I'm I definitely want to use this one and probably right here but this edge here is at an angle and my paper is straight so all I have to do is cut that straight hopefully and put that in place so like I said you can customize your pieces to fit to make it fit for you anyway so go ahead and fill up this card front which is a uh, four by five and a quarter and so make sure to when you're putting them together you leave just the slightest space in between the two pieces and also around the entire edge of the the piece you want to leave just the slightest border so go ahead and fit that all together and i'll show you the next step
So I'm just about there as far as fitting it all on the page. I do have a couple of things overlapping. I'm going to cut that as I go. And if you have little slivers of area where you just don't have a spot, we're going to work on little, little pieces. Or I have a trick at the end of a spot that you just can't fit a piece. So what you want to do is start at a corner and start gluing those on. And whatever you do at this point, you really don't want to bump it because you've worked so hard and you don't want to, you don't want to bump it and get it all messed up and try to figure it out again. So gently try to put one piece at a time, gluing it down, starting at a corner. And like I said, make sure you have a slightest gap in between each one. So start gluing that down and I'll get back with you in a sec. So I've got all the pieces glued down and um, I have this little area here that I just really couldn't fit a piece right there. It would have been crazy trying to fit that in there. And there's a couple of areas that I'm not too crazy about. There's a bigger gap here than I would like. So there's those couple of areas. So how to get around that is to simply just take your sentiment and I'm going to actually place my sentiment to cover this area and this little gap here. So I'm going to place it right about there to actually cover up what I don't like. And I've got those on foam squares, so I'm just going to attach it right about there. Now also for with this, the rest of this page, you're going to take your stained glass stamp here and you're going to ink that up and make sure that you ink it up really well. There's a lot of little details on this stamp. So I want to get that nice and inked up. So I'm going to pick a place on this paper that has a lot of space. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this down where I have a lot of colors in one area. So I really like these colors are all together. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that down nice and straight and tight, making sure I get that full image. Now I'm going to cut that out. So I went ahead and cut that stained glass window out and I used a Sharpie to make those lines a little bit more pronounced. There was a little bit of stamping. And then I glued it onto the card base and I also glued the card front onto the card base. So we are just about finished. The last thing I wanted to show you is with this card here, I put the sentiment here at an angle and I want to show you how that was done. So the sentiment reads, in your time of loss, and it's a straight sentiment, you know, right there. But I want that to, to arch around the actual stained glass, which is easy enough because there it's just flexible. So what you want to do is just put it on your block and bend it any any way you want to mine's gonna have to be a little sharp of a edge here so as you can see it will actually bend in the shape that you want it to be and that looks about good so i'm going to go ahead and stamp that and that will finish off my card and just Stamp that down. Excellent. So there you have it. The mosaic watercolor card in two different color schemes. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you give this a try. And go ahead and put it on my Facebook group, Create Along with Trace. 
I'd love, love, love to see what you've done with this technique. And go ahead and subscribe and like, and uh, I will see you next time. Have a great day.